As a responsible and conscientious person, it is important to approach any message that claims to be from a higher power with a healthy dose of skepticism and critical thinking. The message you have provided, God says, I order you to open this now. Scary news is coming to your house within today, raises several questions and concerns. It is important to consider the source of the message. Who or what is claiming to be God? And how do we know that this entity is truly divine and not merely an imposter or a creation of our own imagination? It is all too easy for individuals or groups to claim to speak on behalf of a higher power. But such claims must be scrutinized carefully and evaluated based on evidence and reason, not merely on faith or emotion. Type 333 If you trust God. Today, don't let anything or anyone take your focus off of God and what He's doing in your life. Distractions have a way of popping their ugly heads up at a time when we need to have our undivided attention on what God is doing with us and within us. Also, regardless of how you may feel, don't give in to the feelings of frustration. Be mindful that it can be one of our biggest distractions. Be blessed and be encouraged. You are closer to your breakthrough than you think. God is using these difficult times to prepare you for what is coming. Do not let the battle you are in distract you. Where you are is not your end. Quit looking at where you are and start looking at where you are going. Your struggle will not last forever. A change is coming. A breakthrough is coming your way. Type, I claim it, if you receive this declaration. The message itself contains some troubling and ambiguous language. What does it mean for scary news to be coming to one's house? Is this a specific and concrete threat? Or is it a more general warning about the uncertain and unpredictable nature of life? And why is it necessary for the recipient of the message to open it immediately, rather than taking some time to consider and reflect on its contents? Gifts This one-minute prayer from Biblical Time manifests wealth and abundance into your life. If you're a spiritual person and empath looking to better the world and yourself, then this will be the most important message you read all day. Because once you hear this divine prayer, you will finally break the curse of poverty and restore your connection with the universe, allowing you to ask, manifest and receive an abundance of blessings. Tap the link in my bio and listen to the one minute prayer now. Type, I'm taking my power back, to affirm. It is important to remember that we all have a responsibility to approach unexpected or alarming messages with a calm and level head. Panic and fear are natural responses to such situations, but they can also cloud our judgment and prevent us from making rational and informed decisions. If you do receive a message that claims to be from a higher power, take a step back and consider carefully what it is asking of you. Seek out reliable and trustworthy sources of information and consult with others before taking any action. The moment you decide that you are ready to fight for love and trust God, 
The enemy is going to be ready to fight back. Don't worry, God is your shield and your strength. Lean on God and rest. The battle is God's. Your love story is secured by his blood. Type. I'm abundant. To claim. The secret to life. Is that you have all the power. If you can change your mind, you can change your life. You don't need any amount of money, or education, or connections. You just need to be in control of your mind. Program your mind to believe in yourself. Know that you have what it takes to achieve greatness. And watch greatness manifest in your life. When it comes to the law of attraction, all you're really doing is programming your mind. This is the secret that so many people overlook in life. The key to success in overcoming your limiting beliefs and aligning yourself with the energy you want in your life. In conclusion, while the message you have provided may be intended to inspire fear and urgency, it is important to approach it with a critical and discerning eye. By considering the source of the message, the language it uses, and the potential consequences of our actions, we can make informed and reasoned decisions, even in the face of uncertain and potentially frightening circumstances. Type. I embrace my power to affirm. The divine message serves as a warning, urging swift action to face the impending unsettling news that is set to arrive at your doorstep. It's a reminder of the unpredictable nature of life and the necessity to brace oneself for challenges that lie ahead, as guided by the higher power. This directive demands courage resilience, and faith to confront the unknown with strength and conviction, knowing that divine protection and guidance are always at hand in times of trouble. Embrace every challenge, for they are blessings in disguise. You have the strength to overcome any obstacle that comes your way. Your journey is a testament to your resilience and every step you take brings you closer to your destiny. Keep pushing forward, for the universe believes in your potential, and so should you. You are a force of nature, bound for greatness. Drop a yes to receive it. Even if your plans have changed, even if your timeline is different, even if nothing has unfolded the way you thought it would, you are not falling behind. Real growth is not always just constant forward motion. Growth is also staying still. Growth is deep rest. Growth is stopping to reconsider where you're headed before you arrive there. Growth is letting yourself settle. It's letting yourself blossom. It's letting yourself see how much good is already in your life before you hunger for more. Growth is processing. Growth is grieving. Growth is allowing yourself to be where you are while you're still there. What you're about to discover today is life changing. One minute you're struggling to pay bills. Swamped with money worries and the next minute. You're attracting money like steel to a magnet. What makes this life-changing difference in people's lives? It's called the genetic wealth code once you activate it. Your life will never be the same again. You can activate your genetic wealth code here today. It's best to activate this code now while this page is still live.
Tap the link in my comments to activate your genetic wealth code. Type, I love you Lord, to affirm. On this particular day, the voice of God throbs with a sense of urgency, as if time itself is of the essence. The divine message commences with a stern command, I order you to open this now. The capitalization accentuates the gravity of the situation, implying an unquestionable mandate from a higher power, one that supersedes all earthly laws and conventions. With the order comes a chilling prelude to the news that is set to unfold. Scary news is coming to your house within today. The specificity of the time frame, dictating that the event will transpire before the day's end, amplifies the sense of anxiety and anticipation. The term scary news carries with it a sense of dread conjuring images of impending doom and catastrophe that are beyond human control. When you practice mindfulness, you will realize that your thoughts are like clouds, they come and go, but you are always present and aware of their presence and absence. The more you observe the thoughts, the more you realize that you are free from them, it was your identification with them that was creating the suffering. Thoughts come from the mind, but your awareness is beyond the mind. The awareness is the higher self. Type 2020 if you have faith in Lord. In essence, the message serves as a stark reminder of our mortality and our place in the grand scheme of the universe. It underscores the unpredictability of life and the inevitability of change, encouraging us to live our lives with purpose and to cherish every moment, for the unknown is always lurking around the corner. Type 1111 if you're ready and share this video with five people who trust God. Comment. Jesus is Lord.